Well, hello and welcome back. You know, fresh flowers are such a great sign of spring and live plants too, and they add such a nice touch to any room. And they're especially nice when spring is in bloom and you want to bring a little of the outdoors inside. Well, you don't have to take a floral arranging course or buy expensive containers to display your blossoms. You can be creative and I've got some ideas for you. Let's take a look at these here. We have some little food tins. Oh, maybe tea has come in them or cookies. They may be old or antique or you can use new ones and you can put your flowers or your plants in a glass or a little bottle. You wouldn't want to put the water in the tin because it could rust. And then your carry-all boxes are great. Again, you can use some drinking glasses in there to hold your flowers. And also there's some interesting bottles you can find. Here's a little oil and vinegar one and behind it, uh, this is from a kerosene heater. So you can be as creative as you like. And I love this one here. We've taken an old shoe, put some moss in there and actually have a plant growing in the shoe. And our last one here is hanging on the wall. It's a metal container that we have filled with moss and put a live plant inside and hung it from the wall. Those are some ideas and I have some more for you right here. Here again is our tin. And we've just taken an old jar here, put some water in it, and it's kind of difficult to put this in here. So I have a tip for you, watch this. It's the four finger technique. Press your fingers against the wall of the jar and place it in like this. So it is below the lip of your tin, and then you can take whatever flowers you like, I love these, and place them inside. Now another use for a tin, if it has a really, really wide opening here, you can actually use it as a planter and just place your plant inside. That's kind of nice too. Now look at what you can do with a simple wine glass. And this would be really nice, I think, for a table setting for a tea or something. Um, you would want to hold your flowers in there like this and then you take these little glass beads that you can find at your floral shop or craft shop and fill your glass with these and it will hold the flowers and then you pour the water inside. Don't try to fill it up with the glass beads first and then put your flowers in because it'll be really difficult to get them in. So you do, you put your flowers in first. And I love this little one here. It's an espresso cup and they make wonderful place cards for your table settings. You can take a little paint pen like this and write the person's name on them. Oh, there's my name. And pour a little bit of water inside and then you can take just one single flower and place it inside like that. It's really elegant, isn't it? And then if you like, your guests can take it home with them as a momentum of their special occasion. Now, this is kind of a creative one. We just had creative use of terry cloth. Well, how about a creative use of a toothbrush holder here? Take those toothbrushes out, again, fill it with water, and each one of these little holes here works as their own individual little vase. And it separates the flowers. It's kind of a fun contemporary design, I think. And a great use for a toothbrush holder. Makes a wonderful vase. How about that? Now these frogs are very useful. I think they're wonderful because they can hold just one flower straight up like this. And you can put it in any kind of container that you want, even a wide mouth container. When sometimes you feel like you have to fill the whole thing up with flowers, you can just put five or six or however many you want and then place that into your container of water. I think I love it when it just holds one like that. I think that's really elegant. And here's another one of those wire things, <laughs> whatever it is. Actually, we did find this at a, a floral shop, and it's got a hook back here so that you can hook it onto the wall. But you want to put some moss down in here to fill the bottom of it. And when the moss is dry, it's very stiff, and it's hard to push down inside. So we have uh, wet moss here. We have just soaked it in some water. And you want to take it and wring it out and then it's much easier to squeeze down into the bottom and you would completely fill it up except for about two inches here and then put whatever, whatever plant you like in the top of it and hang it from your wall. All right, now this one I really love and I think this is a great one for kids to get involved with you. These are little paper white bulbs here. They're Narcissus, they're from the daffodil family. And they can be forced to bloom inside and they don't need soil. So I think a great way to display them is you take a, a bowl like this or any bowl that's flat and you can fill them with rocks and you just place them inside like this and fill it up with water. Make sure that they stay in about an inch of water, not completely covered and they will eventually bloom 
like this. And this is another way that you can display them as well. So we have some rocks in here. And it's almost like a science project. The kids can see how they are blooming and how the roots are growing. And I think they're just wonderful because they stand up so straight and they have such a wonderful aroma. Let's take, a, again, one more look at our display over here on the side and see how we have used some creative vases to display our wonderful springtime flowers. And we have more Decorating with Style. We'll be right back.